Greetings, spear beings, greetings, queen being, world, human race, our common enemy is death. This is the broadcast, my new YouTube channel. Whoa. Greetings, spear beings, greetings, queen being. We are all the human race, our common enemy is death. Welcome to my channel, try something not vegetarian on YouTube. This is the broadcast Centipedes in Humans, the symptoms. Me and my father have centipedes in our body, also the people that have emailed me have centipedes in their bodies and some of them were misdiagnosed. And this broadcast is also to help, to help these people find a cure but especially to call out to the mainstream media to help us to warn the people of planet earth and of your country that centipedes are not harmless they're very dangerous there are five species that have procreated in the human intestine and it's scientifically documented as pseudoparasitism of myriapoda in humans but in reality i think they are parasites they will enter your body as soon as they get the chance they enter the body of patients at night which is clear from the fact that my father contracted these centipedes the first night he slept in the house in Tienhoven. So, um, centipedes in humans, that's what this broadcast is about. I switch to the desktop. Let's see if it all works properly. I turn off the program because it takes too much. CPU. <clears throat> so centipedes in humans, the symptoms is what this broadcast is about. I will come to that in a second. Pseudoparasitism of myriapoda in humans, centipedes in humans, they mainly are in the throat and near the anus of patients. They clamp themselves in the intestinal wall throughout the gastrointestinal tract. And in a later stage, they can also go behind the eyes of patients and in the nose and uh, throat of patients where they can also make rattling noises. Lithobia centipedes, this is the one I caught in the UMC hospital. It's missing four of its legs, so probably I squashed the centipede with my finger. It was near my anus and I was sticking daisies up my behind to because uh, daisies contain pyrethrins as well, but apparently not enough. So probably I killed it with my finger, not with a daisy flower. <coughs> Excuse me. Lithobius centipedes, one of five centipede species documented to have procreated in the human intestine. Even the common house centipede does that. Deadly because the doctors have no cure. Many people have contacted me that claim to have centipedes in their bodies as well and were misdiagnosed by the doctor as well. There is a hybrid insect depopulation program, high mems in theory. So they claim these high mems of DARPA, hybrid insect microelectric mechanical systems are used for surveillance purposes, but non-invasive weapons can also be used to murder people and taser deaths are also documented. So then how can that be non-invasive? It's nonsense. So let's get to the symptoms immediately. I made a list, the top 10 of symptoms. And let's read this with the speech engine. Centipedes in humans, the symptoms, called pseudoparasitism of myriapoda in humans. The most important symptoms of centipede parasitosis, one, Markings in poop in the shape of the centipedes with the same length as the centipedes and the same characteristic shape with the v-sign of the antennas at the outer end. 2. Centipede bites on the body of the patients. The bites usually look like long scratches, as if the patients cut or scratched themselves but the bites are often knurled. They don't look like a cut but like smaller cuts that form an incision together. 3. Centipede venom in the poop of the patients. Also centipede venom in the eyes of patients in a later stage, the venom is yellowish, almost transparent, it smells a bit ammonia-ish, it gets stuck to the eyeball and when patients wash their face the venom gets stuck to their eyelashes. 4. Rattling noises in the throat especially early in the morning, 
the flying centipede also slaps its last set of legs together, tickling in the throat and cawing a cur frequently. 5. Tetanus Symptoms Lockjaw, Cramp in Legs, Use Colloidal Silver to Kill Tetanus and Other Diseases Spread by Centipedes. 6. Extreme Lethargy Patients with centipedes in their body feel extremely tired. 7. Muscle pain and pain in ligaments. 8. Once a month or so I throw up and have diary at the same time. I almost died the previous time this happened. It was more painful than the dental torture. 9. Little holes in clothing and blankets. 10. The venom may cause B cell lymphoma, swelling up of ligaments. To cure a disease, you must treat the cause of the disease, not just fight the symptoms with chemical, thus, cancer causing prescription drugs. The mainstream media are asked to help warn the public about the fact that centipedes are more dangerous than most people believe because it's scientifically documented at least five species of centipede procreate in the human intestine including the common house centipede. Several people have contacted me via email that have centipedes in their body as well. Some of these patients were misdiagnosed by their doctor as well. I offer a reward of 2,000 euro for anyone that knows an effective method to get these centipedes out, not with surgery but some other method, only if it works for me, only if the method is effective, because it is written in a scientific article the symptoms resided once the centipedes were avoided from the patient's body there has to be a way. So that's it in a nutshell, and these centipedes can be tiny like these lithobius centipedes, which can also be high mems of DARPA hybrid insects with chips in their body, and it is possible they control these centipedes with synthetic telepathy alone, so that they don't need chips in their body, and that's described in the Malik patterns. the apparatus to remotely monitor and alter brain waves. So I have to get surgery, probably, but you all are asked to help by catching some centipedes. It's also a learning experience, also for children. They can catch some centipedes, put them in a plastic pot, so put that plastic pot over the centipede and then you can use the lid. Once you've got it underneath it, then you can use a piece of paper or plastic and then it's in the pot and then you have to make air holes and give it water and some food, perhaps insects or poop can also be used probably. And um, it has to be kept out of the light and then put that plastic on a little speaker and do frequency sweeps with a freeware tone generator, a slow sweep from 200 to 500 hertz for example in a minute or five minutes. So then it very slowly makes that noise like I can let you hear a frequency sweep if my virtual DJ is on. And it should go quite fast. Sweep. Okay, this is a sweep. Okay, so that's what a fast sweep sounds like, <clears throat> but it can be done much slower. And then you can observe the centipede because everything has its eigenfrequenz, it's scientifically documented as well, taught in physics in class. So that's also known as Dr. Rives' mortal oscillatory rate frequency. And then you can observe the centipede's behavior. So it's sitting there doing nothing. start moving and doing things and that could be its advance 
And then if you find the correct eigenfrequenz, then I will give you 2000 euros if I can use that with scalar waves and other methods, also sound waves, to kill these centipedes or get them out of my body. A way to lure them out would also be perfect, but the eigenfrequenz would be best. It's the cure of all diseases. You can also see these YouTube videos. If you Google Rife Plus Lamp, then you can see some of these experiments and others. Also kill bacteria with sound. I even with Mozart you can kill bacteria. You can see that through a microscope. And then these organisms pop at a certain time when it's their eigenfrequenz. So that way you could all help me and make 2000 euros and learn more about centipedes. I advise people to do a bug check because they will enter through your nostrils at night when you're sleeping. If there's they like a warm moist body much better than nature or the cold outdoors. Uh, because they have food, they have water, they have everything and they have protection especially if they also procreate in human skulls, if they can enter via the ophthalmic nerve or whatever, like this uh, tapeworm, or that's uh, then once they're inside your skull, of course, you cannot reach them. It's uh, it's a horror, basically. Um, and some people might think they have centipedes bloodstream I think it cannot be centipedes then it has to be something else and 25% of the meat eaters every eaters suffer from tapeworm they put their eggs in meat according to Dr. Rio 25% of the meat eaters have the Ascaria tapeworm and uh, that's a white worm and it doesn't look like centipedes and it may be much easier to get rid of that than of centipedes and doctors have to do an MRI scan Runchen, CT scan, PET scan, colonoscopy and bronchoscopy are ineffective and use double sided tape to catch these centipedes. Put it all around your bed so that if they try to climb up into your uh, body they are stuck to the double sided tape. That's another tip. Uh, I use uh, VIX inhaler also. That's uh, this thing. It's also great when you have a cold, etc. So it's good to have one of those in your house. And that has camphor and menthol. And it's really refreshing. So that may help to get them out of your nose. <coughs> it has also been documented that snuff also has been used to keep centipedes out of people's noses. Um, that's my story and story about uh, hospital. Why am I not running off to the hospital? Previous time I went to the hospital I was misdiagnosed. And those are at the top 10 of main causes of death twice. One is prescription drug and drugs and the other one time they misdiagnosed me and treated me as a delusional person so then they can say we want to keep you for evaluation lock you up and I can show my website about